Good morning, Facebook Live audience. Thanks so much for joining us right here from Times Square, New York at the NASDAQ market site for this morning's installment of the Facebook Live Spotlight Series. We have a great company with us today, Arcturx Therapeutics. Uh, NASDAQ listed for a year since November of last year. That's we have right. Joseph Payne, founder, president, CEO, and member of the board. Joe, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, it's Welcome. good to be with you, Rob. Thanks for uh, having me. It's great to have you, and I always like to start there. Please tell us about Arcturx. Tell us about Arcturus. Uh, there we go, Arcturus. Yeah. Arcturus is a uh, messenger RNA, mm -hmm. uh, rare disease company. Um, so we're, we have exciting technologies mm -hmm. that have the ability to safely and effectively uh, deliver RNA medicines to where they need to go. Um, and uh, we're excited to build a company here on the, on the NASDAQ market. Well, we love having you. Yeah. Where are you located? Uh, we're located in uh, San Diego, California. Uh, yeah. Welcome to New York. Yes, a yes. November's here. brisk. It's, it's chilly. It's nice. And what brings you to New York today? Uh, we had uh, our team's uh, attending a conference on the East Coast and also doing some business development activities with uh, some pharmaceutical companies interested in what we're doing. And speaking of the business development, uh, can you tell us about your origins and uh, your co-founders? Oh, the co-founders. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm a scientist mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, Myself and the co-founder of Arcturus, his name is Pad Chivakula, uh, we had a, a, an idea about six right. years ago. And uh, thankfully that idea came to fruition. And the idea was centered around the ability to deliver RNA safely and effectively to where it needs to go. And the reason why that's important is because RNA has the ability to control gene expression um, and, uh, and messenger RNA has the ability to build life. And that's an exciting new chapter for the pharmaceutical industry and opening up new targets and new opportunities in the space. And then for us students of this too, RNA? Yeah, RNA is the sister of DNA. So you and I, everyone knows- Ribonucleic acid? Ribonucleic, very good, I'm impressed. Uh, so so uh, everyone knows what their DNA is. Uh, right. did, you know, they're, you get it from your mom and your dad. Mm -hmm. um, but how the DNA is controlled and expressed is through RNA. And so the holy grail for the pharmaceutical industry is, is RNA medicines. The right. problem with RNA, though, if I inject it into you uh, or myself, our, our, our blood will destroy it in seconds. Mm -hmm. So it's not a, a very good drug unless you have a delivery technology that can safely and effectively transport that RNA medicine to where it needs to go. And that's something that Arcturus does very well. Um, and that's why we're excited about the future. Wow, true innovation. Yeah. And then I was like this, the name, Arcturus? Yeah. Where, Where does it come, come from? from? Well, have you ever heard of uh, the expression starlight, star bright, first, first star, star I see tonight? Right. So when you wish upon a star, that star is named Arcturus. And so that's the origin of the name. We and that gives you your north star, if you will. Yeah, that's Point right. out and the problem to solve. So you started from uh, just the humble origins, if we could say, and you have a team. How many members of the team now? Uh, so we've grown to 80. Wow. Uh, we have 80 folks. We've mm -hmm. just got a lot of fantastic collaborations now with mm -hmm. uh, you know, very respectable and reputable pharmaceutical companies. We've got a great collaboration with J&J and Hepatitis B. Oh, congratulations. Uh, we have a collaboration with Takeda, the number one Japanese pharmaceutical company with uh, a disease called NASH. It's a liver fibrotic disease. Uh, we also have a, a great uh, partnership with uh, uh, an ultra rare disease company called Ultragenics. They're a wow. publicly traded company uh, based in San Francisco. A great team there. And then uh, we also enable specialty pharmaceuticals. We're not a vaccine company, but we enable vaccines. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Synthetic Genomics is a company in San Diego that has really exciting RNA replicon technology for vaccine applications, and we're enabling them. So we have a lot of partnerships, a lot of pharmaceutical validation, a lot of interest in, in, in our technologies and what we're doing. However, we're an RNA uh, rare disease company internally. Our internal programs, we're focusing on, on uh, uh, two diseases particularly. One's called ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency, and the other is cystic fibrosis. And so we're excited about those programs that we fund and resource internally. I was going to ask you about that, as a matter of fact, your pipelines? Yeah. And yeah. that's it, or anything else? So the pipeline, I, we, we just covered a lot of partnerships and right. a lot of partner programs. It provides the validation that, that uh, people like to see. 
uh, but our internal programs, again, are rare diseases. I don't even, have you, have you ever heard of OTC deficiency by chance? No, so please okay. tell us about so, it. So uh, ornithine transcarbamylase is an enzyme in your liver, and mm -hmm. if you're missing it, uh, you have the inability to process or metabolize proteins effectively. Right. And this leads to ammonia rising in your blood, and the ammonia crosses the blood-brain barrier and uh, damages uh, your brain significantly. So it's a very serious disease. Wow. And, and the way to solve this is to replace your, the enzyme that you're missing. Mm -hmm. And we can inject a messenger RNA molecule. It's safely and effectively transported to the hepatocytes in your liver, and then once the messenger RNA is inside those cells, it builds life. It builds a, a new, natural, normal ornithine transcarbamylase enzyme. And so this concept of, of building life is completely new for the pharmaceutical industry. Mm -hmm. That's why there's a lot of excitement in the area. Wow. Well, it seems like there's an awful lot going on. I was going to ask you about right. this too. Your news, your partnerships, your innovation, the problems you're trying to solve. Yeah. And we discussed before, Joe, this is hot space. Not that we like to bring up other uh, peer companies here, but there is some peer news that gives us some illustration oh, yeah. of how busy you are in the interest. So uh, Moderna? Yeah, Moderna, they, 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 they recently filed an S1, and mm -hmm. they're planning to, to do, per, it, it could potentially be the largest, most successful IPO in biotech history. And it's in the same space that we're, that we're participating in. So there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of positive uh, news right now on messenger RNA therapeutics, and we're just glad to be part of the community. There's so many potential drugs to help a lot of people, and Moderna's doing a fantastic job in, in, in raising money and attention to this new burgeoning area, and we're just glad to be a part of the community. And they mentioned Arcturus as a peer. Oh yeah, yeah, well, thankfully and humbly we'll accept the that, that we, we can be considered, um, you know, competitors in the space, but mm -hmm. we don't look at it that way. Uh, right. we, we consider that we're all going after different diseases um, and just trying to help as many people as we can. So there's a lot of focus, attention, and need. Yeah, like yeah, where there's huge unmet medical need. Like this new branch of therapeutics, again, is building life. Right. Um, there, there's a, it, it's, it's a new branch of uh, of just Innovation. technology in, in the pharmaceutical industry. It's great. Sure. Well, at NASDAQ, we love being part of this. No, I appreciate the time. You know, one question I always like to bring up for our Facebook audience. Yeah. They tend to be folks who are sitting at a table, yep. in an incubator, dorm room, creating an idea and trying to bring it to fruition. Oh, fantastic. Like Arcturus has done. Yeah. And as a public company at NASDAQ, where we love having you. What would your advice be to our community? And if he's oh. looking to start something out or solve a problem. Oh, sure. I, I, stay positive, mm. stay humble, and keep taking risks, okay? If the entrepreneurs out there don't take risks, who, who is going to? So, so it's, it's, it, they're the ones that need to, uh, don't be afraid of taking a risk. Um, but stay positive, stay humble, because you will succeed. Um, and it's a journey that can take a while, like you probably. And, and yeah, and, and it can take a long time, so. Well, thank you very much again. NASDAQ is thrilled to be yeah. your partner in this. Always like to end with any closing thoughts, anything else you'd like to leave the audience with? Any closing thoughts? Um, humble and positive. Humble and positive. Uh, and just to remember that you know, there's opportunities for investors to participate in a story once in a while. Um, and this is a new breakthrough, transformational right. area. And, and this is an opportunity for folks to participate in the story, uh, even if it's in a small way. And so I, 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 you know, we look forward to, um, Innovate to the future. And making the world yeah. a better place. Yeah. So, Joe, congratulations on all your accomplishments to date, and we look forward to continuing to be part of your story, and thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for the time. Yeah. I appreciate it. And to the audience, thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.